get this camera a little bit closer where you can see. It's a lot easier uh, for me if I can hold it next to my body and can do it this way. Uh, sometimes when you pull it away from your body, it, it's a lot harder to do, but I need to do that to be able to show it to you on the camera. Again, we have to roll our cord as we pull so that we get the twist out of it. And you can see we're getting close to the end here. And that's our cord that came down and we started around. Okay, then we'll take some of the slack out. Okay, make sure we're still looking good here and we haven't caused ourselves any issues there. Okay, so we're getting close and we'll come back through and adjust these to make them look a lot nicer, more, more uniformed as we go, but we just need to get it started here. Now remember, as you get closer to the end, where, where you originally started, as you weave this around, you'll notice that I'm not going the same over here. Um, always count your weaves from the side that you're working from, not where you've been. So don't pay attention to the weave on this side, follow the weave on the working side. Because you'll see that I'm only going to get one of those. So this last, there's probably two rows left in here and the last row is going to be right next to this and it's going to be a little bit, this one will be one under and one over all the way through. So remember to work, pay attention to your working side so that it stays the same all the way around.
We had a little bit of a technical issue right at the end, so what I wanted to do was to talk about this real quick. Um, as you're going through, you want to check a few things. You want to check your height all the way around to make sure that you're not pulling it down too far or leaving one, one piece too high so that it's consistent and the same on the bottom. And then as you finish this up, what you're going to do is you're going to come down and then we're going to loop around the bottom and then we're going to come up just a couple and then what we're going to do is make it a little bit long and we're going to cut it and then we'll singe it and then we'll pull it back down a little bit and then we'll tuck it underneath and we'll use our pick and we'll push it up underneath there so you can't see where it ends. So this is the Paracord Weaver and this will be the end of part four. Part five will be coming in just a little bit and uh, we hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.